Over the last several decades, professional politicians have learned how to use their privileged positions to get access to opportunities for self-enrichment through the use of public funds. That's our taxpayer money they're using to make themselves filthy rich. During his time as president, Barack Obama was paid a salary of around $400,000 to $600,000 annually, and now that he's been put up to pasture, his pension will be about $600,000 when he's allowed to collect it, that is, with a stroke of his pen, no need for a phone here, President Trump just signed an executive order that ties up Barack Obama's pension until he reaches the ripe old age of 65 which will occur in another 10 years. We can't think of a better way for Trump to give Obama paybacks for the way he screwed American taxpayers while in office from America's last line of defense. As the guy at the top of the executive branch, President Trump has the ability to make many subtle changes at the departments that fall under his authority. The Federal Department of Pensions, for example, determines and distributes the pensions of retired federal employees from the president all the way down to the guy who sorts your mail. With a single executive order so insignificant that it slipped through unnoticed, President Trump made sure Barack Obama's pension was secure for another 40 years, but with a twist that is Michelle Obama fuming. Obama made $619 million from Obamacare alone so he can wait until he's old like everyone else to start collecting old people money. Hopefully by then pensions are all part of a privatized social security trust fund and he sees his payment cut in half like the rest of the people who think they deserve a handout for a few years work. So how much money did Obama actually scam his way into in eight years? Experts from the Nonpartisan League of Governmental Budgetary Oversight, an independent think tank owned and operated by Grover Norquist, has determined that Obama and his family, in just eight years, have earned 11 times that of any other first family, if you deduct the money GWB made from the Carlyle Group's no-bids contracts in Iraq. That's 11 times what Reagan made, which is a paltry $2.4 million, not including endorsements, book deals, speaker fees or royalties. Obama if you add all of those things and multiply by the 30 years he'll probably profit from his presidency, will be worth $67 billion by 2058. How does one become a billionaire from just being a politician? Very dishonestly, I would presume. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. American conservative Herald helped contribute to this report. It's news exposed signing off.